What's up everyone? I am just basically making this video to test out my new lightings and I do have a green screen that I'm kind of trying out. So bear with me if this, the video is a little bit different than what I'm used to doing. Just trying new things to see if it improves my my videos. And I have a color light here as well just to kind of add some coloring to the scene. But if it looks kind of whack, just let me know. But what I wanted to do is something really simple and just try to test my CSS skills using CSSBattle.dev, which is a cool site that you can basically try to challenge yourself and your CSS knowledge to build these different shapes. So if that's something you're interested in watching, be sure to stick around. So I'm going to try to do this one down here. It looks pretty cool. Um, and it should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. And I'll be honest with you all, my CSS skills are lacking. So if I have to do Stack Overflow and read some stuff, don't judge me too hard, all right? So the first thing I see here is we have a box. You know, let me let me take a step back. If you haven't used this site before, basically in the left is similar to like JS Bin or Code Pen, where you have your your editor and you as you change it here over on the right, your output is going to refresh with your live updates. And this is what we're trying to build. So what you can do is basically just type stuff here to get your output to look like your target. All right. So starting off, we notice that the background color is this yellow. So it might make sense to make the body background color of that okay so that's a step in the right direction and then this thing this little square i want to make it look similar to this little top of the mustache okay so i think if you look at this this looks like a half circle okay so it's like if you imagine there's a circle here and this is a half a circle with maybe some border that's i think how you could probably create that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add border top left radius um, and just see if I can do this. All right, so that is one way to do it. And instead of doing a percentage, I'm going to do an actual pixel value. And I'll do the same thing with the right radius. So that gets it kind of similar to this. But what we want to do is we want to make the height maybe half of that to bring it up. <clears throat> so I think that's a kind of a good start. What we could probably do as well is center all this stuff in the center using a, a flex box. So I'm going to add a class to this called wrapper. And I'm actually going to make this have a class of top mustache. I'll say class of top mustache. So again, I'm trying to center this um, vertically and center it horizontally. So I think what we could do is make a class, style the class wrapper and say display of flex. And then I think it's like a line items uh center maybe justify content center let me look this one up uh, css grid align vertically center i always forget what this one is it's like i cannot remember it so let's just look it up i need to say flex box There's justify contents and align items. Is that what I did? Align items center, justify content center. So I don't know, maybe I need to give it a height of like 100% or something. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so it's kind of centered in the page. It's not exactly what we want here, but I think we can kind of get around to it. But if you notice here, I think we could just put another circle of this color kind of in between this. And that will kind of make the the rounded there maybe. So let's do another class called like center mustache. And let's style that out. So I'm going to say copy that. I could do center mustache. And we want to say position of absolute maybe. Maybe relative. Yeah, and I'm not really sure. I think absolute is going to put it right in the center. And let's make this like even smaller. We're just going to make this a circle. So I'm going to say border radius of 50%. And we need to make that that color. All right, so we have a circle there. And what we want to do is we want to move it down some. I don't know if I could do like padding top of something. Okay, maybe not padding. Uh, let's try margin.
Does that look okay? I guess that looks kind of okay. It definitely doesn't look as close to that, but uh, let's do the same thing basically, but we're going to do the opposite. So I'm going to do a left mustache and a left center and a right mustache and a right center. So we could copy these. A left mustache. And I'll copy this. And what I want to do is I want to basically say border bottom. Border bottom. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work without just doing absolute positioning. So I might just change this wrapper <laughs> and just do absolute. This might make it a lot easier. Alright, so let's do position is absolute. Alright, we can figure out the centering in a second, but so for each one, I'm going to say left mustache is going to be position relative. And the center mustache can be position relative as well. Top mustache disappeared. <clears throat> Bro, I don't know how to do CSS. <laughs> this is too hard. All right, so let us let us just do this. I'm going to absolute position everything, and then we'll fig figure this out in a bit. So let's go back to what it was. Center. Uh, you can't comment stuff out in this? Okay. All right, well, let's just position this absolute with left of 100. And then for center, I will do position absolute of left of 50 pixels and top of 50, 50 pixels. And I don't know where it went, so it's over there for some reason. So let's give the left some more 25. How about that? This is a mess. Okay. I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, the top and center should be good. Left mustache, again, just give it absolute. And I'm going to say left is 0 pixels. And top could be 100 pixels. I just keep positioning that. Okay, that looks good. Let's just make another one called right mustache. which would be pretty much the same as the left mustache, but I'm going to move it to the left 150 pixels. All right, 200 pixels. All right, that looks better. And then the wrapper could probably come over to something like this. Okay, so I'm going to move the left mustache over. Maybe 20 pixels, and then the right mustache could come in 80 pixels. And now our center mustache thing, maybe I should rename this to like something else, but <laughs> I don't know. This is this is crazy. All right, let us just change the color of this to black so I can figure out where it is. I'm going to move this up just a bunch of trial and error. All needs to be bigger. Does that look pretty good, y'all? All right, let's try changing the color here. Okay, I think we're on to something. It doesn't look exactly like this. I think the color is off on all these. So let's just style the div and say background color is that. Is that the same color? I think my eyes are deceiving me. I think it is the same color. I'm just getting confused or something. <clears throat> Alright, so let's try it again. We'll say we'll make another one called like right center mustache. 
And that's going to be basically like center mustache, I guess. But I'll put it down here. Yo, I need to practice this. This is crazy. All right, right center mustache is going to be very similar, but it's going to be further over. <laughs> this looks crazy, all right? That looks okay. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just make a left center mustache. There's probably a super easy way to do this. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Not really. <laughs> Alright, so the center mustache thing could probably just move up a little bit. There's no way I'm going to get this exact. This is insane. So let's move this up some. No, these have to be different colors. All right, what am I looking for? Top mustache, border color, blue. No. What about background color, blue? All right, let's see if this is the correct color I need to be using. Okay, that looks better. All right, so basically in all these, left and right. Okay, those are the correct colors there. It's a little bit off, so... <laughs> But it's good enough. All right, let's try to do these little caps. So I think this is just adding circles and putting them in the right position. So I'm just going to make some more divs called like a div class of left cap. And right cap. We just go ahead and style those. They're going to be the same color as... The other stuff, so left cap could be, let's just do this. All right, it needs to have the color of that, so I'll paste that in. And then the width and the height are going to be a lot smaller. And then the left, just keep on moving it left a little bit, move it down. Oh wait, that looked perfect. Wow, okay, okay that kind of lined up perfectly, so that's cool. Let's make another one for right cap. And I'll do this and just keep moving it over this way. Where's it at? Okay, probably 200, 240, 230. There we go. So there you have it. It's not perfect. It looks like this is a little bit, mine's a little bit bigger than theirs. This one looks kind of identical, so that's good. But this one. Yeah, I, I wonder how you actually see, like, how other people did stuff. I scored in 600. I don't know what that means, so... <laughs> awesome. So it would be nice if I could look at the code of other people who did this. I'm not sure how you do that. But, yeah, again, this video was just, again, to practice my CSS knowledge, to test out my green screen and my lighting, and to... Just have some fun. So if you like this type of video, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment below if you want to see more like this. If you don't and you want me to just go back to React videos, leave me a comment as well. But I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing, honestly. So <laughs> all right. Have a good day. Hope you like this.